This building we're going to add on a single slope shed roof to the side of this 60 foot long by 16 and a half foot tall and we're going to come out on a 212 pitch. So we're doing a layout now and the first thing we got to do is square it up. Um, we're coming out 30 foot from the sidewall so we're going to so I'm going to do the cross measurement but I'm unsure of the wall being straight so I'm going to run a string in front in front of the, the length of the wall and I'm just going to do it at a parallel um, from the wall. I'm going to do six inches from each end and that'll give me a straight guideline to measure off of. Six inches off the black part of the wall. I've downloaded a uh, scientific calculator and the way you figure square is the definition of a right triangle is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A is your end, B is your side, and C is your cross measurement from corner to corner. You don't know the cross measurement, that's what you're figuring, but you know the sides. So I always just turn it into inches. So I have 60 foot. So I have a 60 foot run times 12 equals 720 inches squared plus b squared my b is 30 which i'm going to do 29 6 so i'll do parentheses 29.5 times 12 close parentheses squared equals then i'll take the square root of that it gives me 802 inches. Now I need to convert it back into feet. Because my measuring tape only, my 100 foot tape only has feet and inches. So I'll take 802.32 that's close enough for inches. Divide by 12. It gives me 66.8 feet, which is 802 inches. So I'll do 66 times 12 equals 792. But I have 802 inches. So 792, 66 feet, 792 minus 802 is 10 inches, 66, 66 feet, 10 inches, and then I have a .32, I had 802.32, I'm going to guess that's around 3 sixteenths, 3 divided by 16 equals 0.18, so I was wrong, it's around 3 eighths, 3 divided by 8, because that would be a .37. Let's try 5 sixteenths. 5 divided by 16 is a 0.312. And I had 802.32. So it's 66 feet, 10, and 5 sixteenths of an inch is my cross measurement on a 60 foot run, 29 foot 6 inch wide, and I end up with 66 foot and five sixteenths of an inch. All right, let's go the other end and check it. This one's good. Now 
now we have our batter boards. In both corners. This is a our string on a batter board. We cut a groove back here. Wrap it around. Go and make three reps. Put that one in a slot first. Pull it tight. And if we had some new string, it'd be a lot easier. We got a knot in there. It works really good. Put that knot. Wrap it around. And then pull your tight one on top of it. And it pinches it and won't slip. So we're gonna measure from our string that we had down the line of the building over to this string that's running on our new batter boards that we've got up. And we're checking again for the 29 foot six inch parallel mark. Uh, or keeping the two strings 29 foot six inches apart. We pulled the string six inches off of the building, making it exactly 30 foot from the edge of the building out. Not from the edge of the siding, but from the edge of the steel frame or the line of frame. And since we've moved the strings off of our temporary post, right here we had a temporary stob, steel stob that we pulled strings and kind of halfway level. We went back and we leveled our batter boards perfectly. Um, put the string on those, transferred them from that string up, checked it. We got a 31, I mean a 29 foot 6 inches, exactly parallel with the building. Now we're going to pull the cross measurement again. And that measurement was 60 foot, 66 foot, 10 and 5 sixteenths. Batter boards put up yesterday, and today we had some dirt delivered. We're gonna build a two before wall, put the OSB on top, I mean in front, and then we're gonna set it down. And that's what we've been doing this morning is we're getting our dirt level. And what I've done is I hauled in the dirt instead of buying extra dirt, is I've, I went ahead and dug the footer 
with a skid steer. Making it a lot easier on the shovel. I think it's a lot better. So let me show you what we've got going on. So my man here is measured down 32 inches, getting us a good level surface to build our wall on rather than a bunch of uneven and unlevel dirt. And see, I've got approximately 12 inches between the stain and the, the dirt. Cutting all our stakes to four foot. Set up the laser again. I got my dirt smooth somewhat. Second go around, I'm gonna shoot the laser on that. Um, I did figure my concrete to drop three inches from the original building and we were gonna make a ramp out of this back door. But if I put in a little too much dirt and it raises it up some, that's gonna be okay. That's less of a slope. center let's set back because I'm going to mark 23 and a quarter and I put my X on that side that will make 24 to center that way I have a top and a bottom 